Hello there. Well, I'm going to give you an update and I've got a little video to follow. And at the end, I've got an important announcement. Thanks everybody for the, all those coffees. It's made a big difference. And I've actually used that money to buy a Pocket 2. That's a DJI Pocket 2, which is a handheld camera that looks kind of like something from Star Trek that has stability in it. So as I'm filming this, I'm wobbling about and you won't see that wobble because it's a gimbal and I'll show it to you in a minute anyway it's very very good and I've been using it I'm testing it out because what I used before is a Sony handheld camera which is you know not very expensive and the results are you know okay but I've got shaky hands and shaky vision actually lowers the quality of the video and when you have it stabilized you get a much nicer picture which I hope you're getting now so hopefully that will be good for future videos so anyway, the DJI Pocket 2 creator version has all sorts of gadgets. It's got a lens you can fit on the top. It's got a tiny little carrying case with a little tripod in it. And, you know, it's um, very good. And I think you can see that it's very good from uh, what you're seeing now. It's got a zoom and it's got a pan and it's got lots of nice gadgets like that. And there actually is a little joystick in the front, which enables you to control all of that. So I'm expecting nicer much more interesting output from this camera however i'm trying to get used to it and i did a test a few days ago and to see how it'd work out at the monaco grand prix and you're about to get a two minute review of the monaco grand prix well it's not really a review i mean it was <laughs> a case of bad weather and very very bad filming by chill bill but it'll give you an idea of the results and at the end of that video, I've got a very important announcement. So here we have the DJI Pocket 2, and I'm shooting it with the DJI Pocket 1. How meta is that? And this is a button that enables you to zoom or pan, which is very different indeed. And then this does things like rotate the gimbal. So if I, well actually, no, this one does that. If I go three clicks, it will turn around. Three clicks. It will turn back again and this changes the settings from i've got a zoom here i can zoom in and, and i can zoom out and if i click this again i can use it to pan there you are dji pocket 2. but i've got to come to grips with it because i have no idea how to use it properly really this is my grand prix face They're making a racket. Good grief. That's Hellstones. Here they come. Out of the tunnel and through the chicane. And there you have it. Formula One in a hailstorm from the 2022 Monaco Grand Prix Chillville reporting. I just heard they've stopped the race. Maybe there's an accident. Maybe they just don't want to race in this kind of conditions. But anyway, very short Grand Prix. And imagine you've paid 2,000 pounds for a ticket and you come all this way. And in fact, Elon Musk is here. Oh yes. He come all this way and that happens. And you're sat in the stands you're gonna be damp. You're gonna be a little bit damp. Formula One, take two. So let's look at it from a higher perspective.
my coffee. And thank you very much, everybody, for those coffees that you've bought me. It's meant a lot to me, and it means a lot to me. And it will mean a lot to me. So by the time you're seeing this, I will be on the Isle of Alderney, treasure hunting, with Nicola White, Tideline Art, and Cy Fines, who you all know. And we're about to have a really great adventure. Expect great videos coming soon to my channel and theirs too. And if you haven't checked them out, you should check them out. Just to reiterate, while you're watching this video, I'm on the island of Alderney, which is in the Atlantic off the French coast, and it's an English island, all very strange. And I'll be treasure hunting with Society Fines and Nicola White of Tideline Art, the two number one mudlarks on earth. And I'm number three. See you there.